Hello, Goosebumps fans. Because of one person some months ago, maybe even a year ago, I decided why not make a spin off video? These videos are going to circulate. Might be weekly. So, what we're going to do is look at the polls. If you want to be a part of the polls, make sure you go to the community post and make your vote count. If not, you'll see this and you'll be like, no, 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 no. And it's like, well, you should have voted. Remember, every vote counts. But with that said, let's look at all of the votes in the polls that we have today. So first things first, the very first one, which was, we start a brand new video line and, well, one book has to go. So we have a few options, Night of Living Dummy, but this one has an interesting twist. If you pick Night of Living Dummy, the second book will become the first book. So this one actually has a cool scenario. So if you do pick the first book, the second book will become the first book. So that means no Mr. Wood, no waiting for Slappy to do anything, which he only just did something for like one page or two pages, maybe even three, if you want to include the dream sequence. But technically, if you get the second book being the first book, you don't really have to matter anymore. And the whole, where's the first episode? Where's the first book having his episode? It will be gone because the second book will become the first book. Anyways, let's see what we got here. We got Nine Living Dummy. One person voted for it. We have Slappy's Nightmare. One person voted for it. We have three people voting for Slappy's Nightmare. Remember, at one point, Slappy Nightmare, I mean, Slappy Beware. Slappy Beware was actually in the lead at one point. But at the end of it all, it got pulled all the way to Revenge of the Living Dummy with four people voting for it. And thus, it is the champion. The winner that will be erased is Revenge of the Living Dummy. Now, of course, people will ask the question now where it's like, well, it doesn't have any twist in this. And it's like, well, I guess that means that Slappy New Year will become the first book, which. Yeah, there'll just be a little bit of changes, but I don't think it'd be a full change, right? I think it'll only just be it's like, you know, because the, uh, the first book, Revenge of the Living Dummy, had two characters that showed up in Horrorland versus if we go with. Slappy New Year, it will be just this one boy. <laughs> yeah, this one boy will be the one to actually become, you know. So it's like, hmm. Yeah, I was thinking it would just be erased, even though it would just be a brand new dummy book, period. But, well, I guess Slappy New Year could have happened. I mean, that makes sense. But either way, let's move on. The next one is... We got Deep Trouble 2, Monster Blood 4, and Say Cheese and Die Again. Now, this one, I have to admit, is pretty, 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 pretty controversial. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention what happened in the second, first one for me. Uh, the first one, I'll pass. Yeah, let's just pass on that one. The second one. Me, I'm like, well, Monster Blood 4 has never been mentioned ever again. I would go with Monster Blood 4. Because at least the other two can be fixed. Monster Blood 4 can it actually be fixed? No. I don't think it can be fixed at all. The, I mean, well, if you look what happened in the third book. The third book, you have Kermit who actually sympathized um, Monster Blood, which, of course, I know I root for Kermit being the underground person and the one responsible for Monster Blood for breakfast. But if we really go for it, Kermit just has a growing potion technically and a shrinking potion technically. Monster Blood is gone. I believe it's gone. So the growing one is gone. It got helped with the yeast. That's the only reason why it grew is because the yeast helped. So it was kind of like alchemy. It's like, yeah, I'm going to keep on repeating this even though I have a video that explains it all. So Monster Blood 4 I don't know what exactly could it actually do. And not to mention there's so much issues from it where um, Andy was supposed to be staying with her aunt and uncle, but her parents showed up and her dad actually works at this 
freaking um, space thing, whatever. And it's like, well, why did they leave the country in the first place? It's like, that's weird. It would be nice to actually know why they're gone and now they're back. And it's like, I don't know. That's kind of like a head scratcher and hurts your head. So anyways, the trouble two could be fixed or it doesn't need to be fixed. Say cheese and I again can be fixed. Yes, I already mentioned how they could fix it, but well, you know, deaf ears. So of course we do have one person who actually had something to say about that. Which he has a good shout out to that guy, which is of course you can see here. So the reason why they said it it's a classic. And it's so bad it's good, whereas Say Cheese and Die Again really isn't enjoyable at all. The twist is pretty dark, though. So, oh yeah, let's talk about who won in this, which, of course, you can see right here who won. Which, Say Cheese and Die, basically, seven people voted for Say Cheese and Die Again, and one person voted for Deep Trouble 2. Again, I would have to believe if lots more people were doing this, I think Monster Blood would have actually got erased in this equation. What would happen when it comes to Monster Blood 2? Mm, I mean, 4. Monster Blood 4 will be replaced with nothing, I think. I would say it might be um, Slime Doesn't Pay would finally actually be here. But of course, you know, I still have conspiracies on how this plays out. As for Say Cheese and Die Again, what happened in this case is like, well, it doesn't exist, so maybe there's a new one. I guess basically Cry at a Cat that was supposed to be a part of the original 62 might have ended it, but again, I think it might have been like, which that's kind of weird, but I Live in Your Basement, Werewolf Skin, Cry of the Cat, then Monster Blood 4. Durr. Like, yeah, it's like, durr. Anyways, next one. So we got animal related ones. It's like, why not? So I have Why I'm Afraid of Bees, Chicken Chicken, and Legend of Lost Legend. This one I make a pass. But either way, it was kind of crazy until the last person that dropped in. But Chicken Chicken and Legend of Lost Legend are both tied. It's like a tiebreaker. There's nothing's going to happen. But still, it's amazing how they both got tied. And the deciding vote went with I Am Afraid of Breeze. It's like, oh my gosh. Pretty funny, really. Pretty funny. And of course, we have the last one, which is camp related. Why not? We have Return to Ghost Camp. Horror at Camp Jelly Jam and Curse of Camp Cold Lake. Now, of course, we go to the first, before we start, the first person here decided to say, Hey, Bjorn. <laughs> it's like, good Lord, don't, don't do that. If you, if you did that, you, you're trying to get him mad. You're trying to get him over here. So as you get him over here, it's going to be some messed up stuff, man. It's like, oh, good Lord. It's like, oh, good Lord, man. He took out of the kid friendly gloves, man. He took that piece, mouthpiece of kid friendly off. Do you want us all to get freaking cussed at? I don't want that, man. I don't want that, and you shouldn't want it either. Why are you trying to bring it over here? But, anyways, let's see. So, we have one person who voted for. Of course, horror at Camp Jelly Jam. One person who voted for the curse of Camp Coat Lake. And four people who actually voted for Return to Camp Ghost Camp. Which I will believe that too. I would love this book to be erased because it doesn't deserve to be here. It's like, yes, it's a ghost camp that we've never seen before, but it is return to a ghost camp. It's like, it didn't say return to a ghost camp. It says return to ghost camp. So it doesn't make sense that you decided to just do this. You might as well just say return to Camp Jelly Jam. I would have preferred that. So at least the good news is like, yeah, so they mixed it up to where the freaking um, cat beast, I think that was what it was. So the cat beast is now replaced with the ghost of Camp Jelly Jam. Yeah, I mean, the ghost of King Jelly Jam. 
and all the freaking ghosts there, all the ones that he devoured and killed. I mean, this would be a good spin, wouldn't it? It's like, show show your hands if you would love to have that to be the sequel that was the ghost camp related. I'm pretty sure that would be freaking awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'll be a, a fun twist, too, where the two who were like from the previous book was like, hey, see you next year. And eventually, Buddy here, or I forgot who showed up, basically killed him because he doesn't know what life is anymore since you took him out. Since you took out King Jelly Jam, he has no reason to live, so he killed them which we don't get to see how he killed them. And, well, he summoned Camp Jelly Jam back, right? I mean, King Jelly Jam, but sadly, he can't revive back to his original look. So instead, he's actually a ghost that he got. He resurrected the ghost and not actually fully resurrected him. I'm pretty sure that would actually make a fun book, right? Anyways, there you go. That's everything. So next week, we're going to have six of them. So if you want to be a part of this, make sure you go to the community post and check out the community post. There might be some good stuff that you haven't seen before, some fun stuff, and etc. But either way, it's like, come on, join the polls. Let's try to reach, like, you know, the 300 Let's try at least reach 300 on who actually votes in the polls, you know? It would be cool. But, hey, it's like, also, if you don't like who won, you should try to vote, you know? And definitely comment, because I will show your comment as well. Who knows, maybe in the future when I try to do it maybe again, which I doubt it, you could actually get everyone to actually say, we like that guy, and we want to follow his lead. Anyways, have a scary day, have a scary night.